everyone, grace and peace to you. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi there, my name is Tammy. Welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support and always coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today's video is me just creating a look using all my Shop My Stash products from my last video with some additions because I did the Shop My Stash video in, uh, I wanna say January, end of January, and we're in March already. So over the month, I've used some of the product, but you know, I didn't record it to try to see if it will work so that I'm not like recording and then kind of getting stuck having like a terrible experience or whatever. So I'm going to use majority of what I picked out in my Shop My Stash, and then I'm gonna add some things that worked along the way with it. So I already started pretty much, I did my brows already. I did also apply my primer as well as I used the translucent powder. The brow product that I used, cause I did pick two options, which was the brow gel or brow pomade or the pencil, which is the Milani Precision Brow Pencil in Ebony. Instead of the primers that I picked out, I'll explain why I decided to go with this. The Yensa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. So I chose this because the foundation that I'm using is the Yensa that I picked out in my Shop My Stash, and that is the Super Silk Foundation. And also, when I tried this Super Silk Foundation, this is in the shade Deep 3, right? It's a little too cool for me, so I had to mix it with the other Yensa or Skin on Skin BC and CC full coverage foundation and this is in the shape deep neutral so they're both deep but this one is darker so when I mix it together these two make a much closer foundation shade so what I'm that's what I'm gonna do in this video to mix these two together the same brand and because I'm already using Yensa that was the reason why I pulled out my Yensa primer so that you know we can kind of go with the flow of the same brand for my concealer though because you know you guys know I like to use concealers for to clean up my brows and I like to use the closest shade and my favorite one I didn't pick that out in my shop my stash I actually picked out the Morphe and the Paja these two I still use them but I'm, I mixed my Morphe because it's a bit darker and then I mixed it with my Yensa super serum silk concealer so this is one I pulled and added to my stash that I want to use I actually received this from Skeepers and this is my mixture right here so I mixed them both and now I'm just gonna do my eyes first as I usually do show you what I picked out for my shop my stash for the month of March and that's the Saran 2 and I've used this quite a bit so far over the month I've used it I want to say about four times because I traveled to Houston and I took this with me and I used it as well for all the outings that I did but mostly all I kept using was the browns I just kept staying in like in the neutral zone so today hopefully we'll see I might pop in a little bit of the shimmers so I did use this Fenty Beauty a lot I think I'm just gonna continue using this for now and I'm gonna just go ahead and try to work on one eye see how that works for me okay so i came up with this eye look right here and this is the shade that i use taza and hadia in the juvia's place saharan 2 palette okay so it's time for foundation i'm gonna get one pump here see how cool tone this is and then I'm gonna add the Yensa DC foundation in the shade Deep Neutral. And I'm gonna pump that right on top. And you guys will see the complete difference right there. Mix it together. And I'll just sort of tap on here. And so I'm gonna do it on one side. Do you guys will see the difference of what I'm talking about? Not a big difference, but like it blends well. So it gives me a good coverage, you know? So. Let me just do one side of my face. But I don't want to use up all the pump because only one pump is good enough. I don't want to add too much on my face, but this is it added to my forehead here. See? A little bit of a slightly difference, but yeah, I'm gonna use those two pumps for my whole face. I'm going in with the Yensa Super Serum Concealer first for the inner part of my eye because it's a little brighter. And then I'll go in with the darker one, which is the Morphe. This is the Morphe. So I'm just gonna finish setting my face and then I'm going to use the I'm gonna use the Revolution Glow Splendor as my bronzer. I'm not gonna contour because I didn't pull out any contour sticks. But yeah, I'm gonna just bronze, no contouring. And yeah, let me finish this setting. And I wanted to ask you guys, you know, like when you buy foundation. Do you have a hard time? I mean, I think majority of us dark skinned people have a hard time finding our shade, especially if they're not available in store and you have to try to learn to figure out what your shade is online. 
<laughs> it's like a guessing. It's really like a game. Yeah, it's like you're playing a game, <laughs> a matchmaking game. You're reading reviews. You're you're filtering reviews to be sh to make sure you know it's the right review you're reading. So you're not reading for someone that is like super fair skin telling saying all the great things about it, but someone that has left a, a really good review like this thing ain't it type of thing. You missed that. So I, I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. Cause I, one thing I do is I hate returning stuff. So I do the work in order not to have to return it. And if the last result where I picked the wrong stuff, that stuff is going to sit in that drawer until someone comes along and they, it works for them and they get it. Honestly, I, I don't have the energy to be fighting customer service for anything. Some people have that energy. I don't, I, I'm just not here for it. So I, I do the work to find what will work before I go about buying it, you know, making any purchase for it. So, <laughs> so I am using my blush, which is the Sarafina blush, but I actually started first with the elf blush, always spicy, but it has like a hint of like mauvey plummy shade to it. And then I put this uh, Sarafina over it and that's not, it's not showing as much, but you know, that's what I pulled and we want to use it. This has a little bit of shine or sheen in it. And just apply it slightly to my cheeks. Be careful with the Serafina. I think it'll show and it'll be really pretty on much lighter skin tone. I can see it slightly here and almost looks like I have highlighter. So I'm not going to use a highlighter. You guys see that. So it's pretty nice. Okay, so my battery died. I had to switch it up. <laughs> I was saying I was going to use the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup, which also has SPF in it. And this is in the shade Coffee DPN4. As, yeah, it says apply in circular motion to achieve an even and flawless finish. And I was so happy that I had the chance to wash all of my brush. <laughs> So everything is clean and I, I like using clean brushes and tools when every single time I use, I do my makeup. I will say there are times where I've used it maybe two for three applications and almost after three or four applications, I wash my brushes, my sponges and everything. So, you know, it just pumps me up that I know that all my tools are clean and ready to use. So it kind of gives me that zhuzh, I guess, to, you know, film some, you know, record videos. So yeah, I'm just using a clean brush and you're going in with this to all over my face. I don't know what this thing is called, but I love this thing. I will now take it, I start from the middle, I keep my eyes steady, I look straight or it's kind of low, look down a little, and I just press down. I just pretty much look down and then just like push down on the band and my natural hair, technically. But so it's just more for security purposes to kind of stay down, stay onto, you know, your lash line. And I find that my lashes are a bit more secured. I bring it all the way to the inner part too, because you know how we'll be having lifting? This kind of not eliminates it completely, but it kind of helps from it happening too often. Obviously, if you tear a lot, it's still probably gonna lift no matter how much you push it down, but I think this really helps still, regardless. I actually like this Bella Pierre lip color. It's not bad. All right, so I'm done with this look. I ended up just sticking to the lip. I like it. And yeah, this is the final look. I really enjoyed creating this video and also talking to you guys freely and just being myself, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for vibing with me. Please leave a comment down below about any other stuff that I talked about. I'm so glad I'm able to shop my stash and create some beautiful looks using, using products that I already have. So stay tuned for more videos like this and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Stay blessed, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and also have a good week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.